It's another hot, dry day in the little town of Trundle in New South Wales. And while these guys are off to school, many of them are still thinking about the farms they just left and their parents who are struggling to run them. Yeah, it's hard, like, watching Dad go to work every day and putting so much hard work in but not, not getting paid. Like, we're not making an income and when we sell sheep, we don't get the money like it's all going to feed, to feed the sheep every day. The state they call home is now entirely in drought. That's why farmers are having to buy hay for their animals to eat and even water for their families to use. It's really stressful because you have to get water carted to your house, which is like $300 to $700 from every load. And we're just paying it by year, like everything, every day as it comes, because we never know when it's going to rain. Lots of kids are spending all of their spare time helping out. I have a lot of chores now that Mum's not as home as much. She's taken on a second job at Tottenham to help pay the bills because yeah, Dad's always out working. It was like just go to school, come home, do homework and other curricular activities outside of school. But coming out here, you sort of go to school, come home and you still got to do your homework and stuff, but there's living on the farm, so you've got to like help out and do sheep work because we run sheep. The principal and teachers at their school noticed how tough things were getting, so they decided to do something. They introduced a whole new set of fun classes. We have programs where, where kids are building things such as fire pits, they're, they're dismantling cars, they're doing artwork. We're remaining positive, we're not letting this drought pull us down. These guys say it's a good distraction from the drought. We have all these amazing interest electives that we get to do of an afternoon, which, yeah, it's amazing. Ah, oh, it gets your brain going, I guess. Gets it off the drought and puts it on, putting the, putting the motor back together. The school's also opened up all of its showers to anyone in the area that's run out of water. Oh, well, it makes it a lot less stressful, like, um, to know that everyone's going through the same thing and people are trying their hardest to um, support other farmers in need. Knowing that I come to this school where it's friendly and happy and you can talk to the teachers and the principal about anything is just so warming. Like you know it's going to be a good day when you come here. Now these guys are just hoping for more good days ahead. Like we're all adaptable. We can make things work. It's not, it's not the end of the world. It's difficult but we can all make it work and make it easier. Keep the positive mindset and you can get through it all. To help out, you could, like, if you see a farmer in town, just say, hey mate, how are you going? Because a couple words can change a man's day. 